Alright, so we're back here at the campsite. So we're actually staying at site 204. And this is pretty much the site. It's a pull-through site. Um, that's what's nice about it. The downside to it is, of course, that's not as private. Um, because if you take a look here, uh, the privacy isn't that good. We actually had neighbors that were a little bit noisy, but again, that's camping. You can't really change that. Um, as for the sites on the side, uh, these ones book up pretty fast. But what's nice about it is there's no neighbors. So I'll show you one of the sites that doesn't have any neighbors, right? At least behind them. So yeah, so if you take a look at here, you can fit a trailer. This is site five, and you can definitely fit your trailer here. You're backing into a sort of forest rock ravine. So it's pretty good. You could probably fit a 30 foot trailer if you wanted to, or even bigger. But yeah and what's nice is that it's actually close to the beach and this is leading into the beach area for campers which if you take a look right here So if you look at the sandbar, the sandbar isn't as as big, but if you take a look on the other side, which is where um, the day use area is, and you also have your, your rentals over there, it's much, much bigger and wider. So you might want to go swimming on that side, but this side is pretty much good. I mean, we stayed here. And the best part, if you're going to watch sunsets, this is the place to be. And at night, you'd see, basically, I'll show you a video or a picture right there. And you clearly see that it turns really nice orangey colors. So yeah, check out Osler Lake Provincial Park. Alright, so we're gonna check out the washrooms here at Osler Lake Provincial Park. First, let's check out the men's washroom. Alright, so what I saw was, and you saw, was three stalls, one urinal, and uh, three lavatories or sinks. That's for the men's washroom. I would presume it's the same for the women's. There might be more stalls for the women's. Um, and let's see if we can actually take a look at one of the showers here. Okay, so this is your shower. This is the um, wheelchair accessible shower. Very basic, there's no points, there's a place to sit down, so yeah. Okay, so this is your regular washroom. Okay. It also has a place to, uh, to sit down, again no points. So yeah, so as for the washrooms, it's pretty basic. Um, supposedly, it is cleaned every day as to the times i'm not pretty sure uh, yeah for um Osler lake during the time that we shot this video um this this the store is is uh, being renovated so there's nothing really to show in terms of the store but the nice thing is because they're renovating it they're improving it so hopefully you get to see it Alright, so this is the dog beach area and if you take a look at it, the water is pretty clear. 
Um, these are where the boat docks are. Uh, so you can put your uh, boats there, your watercrafts, jet skis, and so forth. And there's another road that leads to the other side. If you take a look. All right, this is uh, the beach area of Osler Lake Provincial Park. So these are one of the tent sites that's right by the water. There's quite a few actually. Uh, just check the map. Um, somewhere for tents, unserviced. And there are also um, sites that's by the beach side um, for electric and water that also have good water views. Hey guys, so we're here now at the dump station of Osler Lake Provincial Park and uh, they do have only one uh, dump line. So as you can see here, right here you can see there is only one line and it goes in a circular motion where in you would come in here, go out there, and then there is a filling station over there. Now, for both of them, uh, the filling station and for uh, for the for the dump station, they are threaded. The hoses are threaded, so you can basically connect them to your black water flush tank for uh, for dumping tanks. And also for the filling station, you can also connect your filter. Now there are there is another filling station which is closer to um, the registration area, and basically there are two hoses there, but only one line. Hi guys, so we just finished here at Osler Lake Provincial Park, which is in Perry Sound. It is a smaller park, however, what we enjoyed during our stay is that um, we were close by to. The beach area. We stayed at um, the beachside campground. Uh, those ones are electric and water and it's a very short walk to get to the beach. Um, the sunsets are beautiful here. So in this park uh, we would say it is mainly for enjoying water activities. So paddling, swimming they do have rentals here as well there is a bigger beach um, and there is also another one which is um, pet friendly just to take note there is no hiking trails within this campground um, if you are biking um, you know you can bike within the park as well and just to mention if you are staying by the beachside campground the train passes by quite frequently and you'll definitely hear that noise as what we normally do uh, in this channel we actually go camping and go to the nearest town or city um, the closest one is actually per uh, perry sound and it's about 10 minutes away and uh, there's a lot of biking trails there waterfront biking trails 
and um, as we show you in the video or as we showed you in the video um, you have uh, lookout points you know that's actually like similar to this one um, and that that one is the lookout point where uh, the sunset is also uh, there are a lot of restaurants that are along the actual uh, waterfront trail so the restaurant we stayed in was the uh, tailwinds and uh, relatively decent enough in terms of food nothing nothing really extravagant but what's nice about it is it's actually by the water by the bay so for us in our opinion osler osler lake is more of um, a short stay a weekend trip but of course depending on your preference could be longer all right guys thanks for watching and uh hope you watch our other videos we have several coming up uh this season and always remember go on trips go on vacations because before you know it the moment is gone see ya bye